this is Larice West of LariceWest.com with Isaiah Page on piano. I'm the creator of the Artful Voice, a method to help vocalists sing and speak with ease and to find their unique voice. So I'm starting a series about breathing. And the first thing I want you to notice, start to notice, is if you're holding your breath before you talk in public or before you sing. This is very common. And I have to keep mentioning it to singers in my studio. You're holding your breath. You're holding your breath. How does this happen? We go, take a big breath, and we hold it for a split second before we start to sing. Now, in regular conversation, we don't do that. What I want you to do is open your mouth and take a breath and hold it with your mouth open. And do you feel the constriction there? What do you think is closing? Physiologically, what is closing? Do it again. Release the air. Try it again. Take your, take your breath with your mouth open. Hold it. Okay? What do you think it is? Hey, it's your larynx, your voice box, or your vocal cords are closing. Okay? Specifically, your vocal cords are closing. And what happens is, when you take a breath for a split second, before you sing, it's like going like this. Before starting to lift something, you're way too tense. Okay? And this has become an innate habit for many people. Because you think, I gotta gear up, I gotta get this really big breath, and I've gotta hold it. So, over time, we're gonna learn that singing is actually easier than talking. That is a crazy concept, right? We're making it so much harder. So, the, I want you to stop holding your breath. Try to be aware of it as much as possible. Okay? Because it really tightens the vocal cords, and the vocal cords need to looser than in talking. We say, hi, I am talking versus hi, I am talking. It's much looser and elongated. So we need to not start out tighter than talking. Okay? So just breathe in easily, exhale easily. Don't take an enormous breath. You have so much breath capacity just for talking. 